dear learner now we will create our foundation for this model so if you new here you are requested to watch our previous lecture for proper understanding of that and also if you want to understand or if you want to know about revit architecture so you can watch our uh, lectures from our playlist and also see uh, if you complete revit architecture you will learn many things about revit okay and uh, revit structure will be very easy for you okay so here we'll uh, go to our level minus one here or by clicking here now okay so here is our layout after our complete design okay so uh i'll create one by one before creating any footing first you have to understood that uh, which types of foundation you are going to create now we will create first of all we'll create single footing so it is very easy to create that by using uh, its distance simply okay so uh, our this foundation is uh, is uh, the centric foundation okay not eccentric and here we have a eccentric foundation and uh, sorry uh, this is also the centric foundation and there have a eccentric foundation so we'll create one by one first of all i'll go for it its distance is 7 feet 10 inch and 6 feet 18 so we'll convert that to mm okay now i'll go to i'll go here isolated click isolated foundation tab then if you click here you'll see a foundation will be created and if you press sh uh, shift button sorry uh, space button it will rotate okay it will rotate okay now i'll come here and uh, actually i'll select one of them and i'll go to edit type and from here i will take our foundation size as per our requirement i'll click duplicate okay uh, now what was our footing thickness first of all we have to consider here so let's say our footing thickness is 18 inch that means 450 so here uh, 450 is given now length and width so what is the length of our footing length of our footing is let's say uh, 7 feet and 10 inch Ninety four. Okay, into twenty five. So two three five zero mm. Now I'll copy it. Go to here and I'll paste it as a length. Paste as a value it's in mm. Now width. What was the width of our foundation? Six feet and eight point uh, six feet and eight inch. Eighty twenty five. So two thousand. Okay. Now uh, we have created that, and here the size of our footing. Okay. And uh, if you want to use the type mark, if you want to use that. So you can uh, give the name of that footing it's sf3 sf3 okay sf3 yeah now and also here you are able to provide the cost per unit by clicking here this is the uh, option uh, for cost per unit you can provide it here now uh, I'll, i will not do anything here not at this time so just type mark sf3 i'll click apply and okay now our footing is ready and 
I'll see. Yes, this is in this direction. Just simply click here. See, our foundation have been created. Now, if you go to in 3D, here, this is the footing. Okay. Now, again, I'll go level one. And if you click here, you are able to see where uh, you are going to create. Now, for second one, and uh, I think this uh, this one will be same as per this one uh, I already have created. I'll uh, I think you'll be able to do it. Now I'll go for the eccentric one. Okay, so how will create the eccentric footing? We'll go for it now. Actually, they have two or three way to do it. First of all, by creating a line will create it and uh, secondly we'll uh, go for uh, another technique we'll draw and then move okay so first of all we'll come here this is eight feet six inch and five feet okay eight feet six inch and five feet This is the length 2550. I'll go to revit. I'll uh, go to isolate it again. Click edit and click duplicate. And here I'll provide the length first. Okay. Um, in our previous in our previous model, we have done a mistake. Here we have to also change actually. Okay. To do it very fast. I made this mistake so two three five zero i'm sorry and here two zero 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 and four five zero then click apply see it's changed okay so now again you may click here click edit and i'll click duplicate and here i'll change it two five zero zero then what is the width of length is 2500 and i'll go for the length uh, width width is five feet five into 12 into 25 And let's say thickness will be same as previous. And if you want to change its thickness, let's say the thickness will be uh, okay, sixteen, okay, four hundred. Then click OK and change its value five zero. Then width width will be one five zero zero, and thickness will be. 400 then apply and okay uh again i'll go here i'll change it to five i'll select that one and here i'll paste it and you may see if you press shift it will rotate see it will rotate okay so uh, now i uh, only need in this direction so i'll go here i'll click that's it done we'll skip i'll go to 3d you may see here it's done now we have to move it i'll click here and they have two options to do it we will create a line we'll offset it and we'll move it or we'll align it otherwise by clicking here will check from that grid to this footing thickness or a distance for, for this footing thickness okay so i'll come here so this is our another grid i'll check that what are the footing thickness five feet and ten inch from that grid our footing thickness will be in five feet and ten inch so total one 
1750 okay so i'll go to revit i'll provide here 50 see it's moved now i'll go for this direction or y direction let's say so again with respect to that grid we'll do it and i uh okay it's also have some uh, different so i'll click here okay 16 feet Four eight zero zero. I'll go to Revit. Four eight zero zero. Done. In this way, we are able to create our eccentric footing. Hmm. We'll create our eccentric footing. Nice. Now we have another. Okay, done. Now we have another uh, column where we'll do it for uh, combined footing. We'll do it, but uh, I, I want to show you about this footing, or uh, I want to show you that how we can create this footing in another way. I will delete it now to create that another way. So let's, let's say uh, you have no reference line here or grid line here then how we'll do it i'll go to our model from center it's one feet and four inch i'll convert it in mm one feet 12 plus four into 25 400 okay so 400 now i'll come here i'll create a model line and here offset so what will be the offset offset will be 400 okay 400 in level one everything is okay just click here to here see or a line have been created now i'll go for um, another site i'll go for another site let's say for that site i'll come here so what is the distance from that grid point to that point three feet and 11 inch one on seven five okay one on seven five again i'll come here i'll put this one on seven five and start creating from that point to that point okay if you want to create in that side then you have to start from here okay always it will stay in left side left side done now we are all set now go to isolated footing select the footing size you want to use here and simply draw it now go here aligned and click it and sorry click it and click it then click it and click it that's it how easy right delete that and by taking your mouse here tap and you will be able to select the uh, line then it that's it now go to 3d so this is the two way to draw our column column 14 okay now i'll go for another thing what is it what is that we'll go for our combined footing so how we'll do how we'll draw a combined footing so thank you thank you very much in our next lecture i'll show you that